the topic for our uh, presentation is IPv6 addressing. IPv6 internet. IPv6 addressing is one of the main benefits of Internet Protocol version over previously used Internet Protocol version IPv4 is the large address space that contain addressing information to root packets for next generation Internet. IPv6 supports 128-bit addressing space and can uh, potentially support 2 to the power 128 unique IP addresses as upon to 32-bit address space of IPv4. With this large address space scheme, IPv6 has capability to provide unique addresses to each and every device or node attached to the internet. To make address more readable, IPv6 spe uh, specifies hexadecimal colon notation. This notation 128 bits is divided into 8 sections, each 2 bits in length, 2 bits in hexadecimal notation required for hexadecimal digits. Therefore, the address contain of 32 hexadecimal digits with every four digits separated by a colon. Hexadecimal colon, uh, hexadecimal colon notation and IPv6 address is 128 bits in length and consists of eight 16 bit fields with each field bounded by a colon. Each field must contain a hexadecimal number in contrast to dotted, uh, dotted decimal notation of IPv6 addresses. IPv6 address is uh, binary and hexadecimal column notation. The abbreviation of IPv6 addresses do not occupy all their positions, all their possible 128 bits. The condition results in fields that are padded with zeros or contain only zeros. The IPv6 addressing architecture allows you to use the two colon notation to represent contiguous 16-bit fields of zeros. The abbreviation of IPv6 address is shown in the figure. The original one, the abbreviated and the more abbreviated. Address space. IPv6 has much larger address space that is 2 to the power 128 addresses are available. Uh, the design of IPv6 divides the address into several categories. Type is uh, Types are prefix and uh, the types of prefix the type prefix is variable in length but in design such that the no code is identical to the first part of any other code in this way there is no av uh, ambiguity when an address is given the type prefix can easily be determined table shows the prefix for each type of address the third column shows the fraction of each type of address related to the whole addressing space the unicast address uh, the unicast address defines a single computer a packet sent to a unicast address must be delivered to that specific computer ipv6 defines two type of unicast addresses geographically based and provided based the provider based address is generally used by normal host as a unicast address the address format is shown in the figure fields for the provided base uh, provider based addresses are uh, type identifier, provider identifier, subscriber identifier, and a node identifier. The multicast address. The multicast address are used are used a define are used to define a, a group of hosts instead of just one. A packet sent to multicast address must be divided to each number of groups as shown in the figure. The second stay the second field is a flag that defines the group group address as either permanent or transient. A permanent group address is defined by the internet authorities and can be accumulated at all the times. A transient group address on the other hand is usually only temporary. System engaged in teleconference for example can use a transient group address. LA cast address. IPv6 also defines any cast address. Any cast address like a multiple address also defines a group of nodes. However, a packet designed for an Anycast address is derived to only one uh, of the member of the Anycast group. The nearest one, the one with the shortest route. Although the definition of an Anycast address is still data uh, detectable, one possible use to assign an Anycast address to all the routes of an IPS that covers a large logical area in the internet. Reserved addresses. The reserved addresses another category in the addresses space is the reserved addresses these addresses starts with eight zeros type prefix is eight times zero a few subcategory are defined in this category as shown in the figure 
the unspecified address is used when a host does not know its own address and sends an, equi an equal inquiry to find an address a loopback address is used by host to test itself without going into the network a compatible address is used during the transition from ipv4 to ipv6 it is used when a computer using ipv6 wants to send a message to another computer using ipv6 but the message needs to pass through a part of network that still operates in ipv4 a map address is also used during transition however it is used when a computer that has emigrated computer that has migrated to ipv6 when wants to send a packet to computer still using ipv4 the local address these addresses are used when an organization wants to use ipv6 protocol without being connected to the global internet in other words they provide addressing for private networks nobody outside the organization can send a message to nodes using this address two types of addresses are defined in this purpose and shown in the figure the link local and the site local local addresses in ipv6 thank you